Okay, so this video is going to be about porn, kind of. Um, not really about the morality of if it's right or wrong, but more about potential legislation about it. Um, I think Louisiana was the first and maybe only state that has put restrictions on it. I think they're doing a face scan. And now it's in the news in Canada that it was just passed in Canada, but it hasn't been... Like, the, the mechanisms haven't been put in motion yet, but it's been approved. Um, and I think they're studying whether it'll take a driver's license or a face scan to look at um, pornographic websites. And I believe the aim is to prevent people from under 18 viewing it, which is, I think, probably good because a lot of it's crazy extreme now but also that it's that's going to be completely unenforceable um with vpns and with it being on twitter with it being on snapchat with it being on instagram more or less like even like you go on instagram now and like there's those bought models that are naked so that's it's definitely a downgrade if that's what you're reduced to, it's going to go back to the kind of the Sears catalog days if that's properly enforced, which I think that would probably be a good idea because then I think from a healthy state, you're at least just kind of, well, I don't know if it's healthy. Yet. I'm, I'm not really going to get into that debate, but um, it's just like a still image and not a video of like all the stuff going around. And it's kind of like the, the porn hub and, and that kind of stuff. It's kind of like, social media how it's endless so you can keep clicking and getting deeper into the hole so i think that could be healthy healthier is just to have a limited option and then and go for that and then i mean the argument overall there's a lot of red pill people and and no nut people and people that are into semen re retention and i think semen retention is kind of a hoax i think it's kind of like crystals for men like how a woman wears like a purple crystal around her neck to balance her chakra or whatever. Maybe that's right. I don't know. Um, there definitely is a lot of uh, placebo effects. And if you believe something is working, it actually does have a lot of um, positive effects and it, it kind of does work. So I think there is like a religious component to the way that humans think and, and something spiritual about beliefs that that make them true so maybe the crystal and the no fap can actually work for some people but i i don't i don't believe in that and i don't i don't view it to be true um i don't really view that mm, i think porn can hurt relationships actually i was about to say that it can't but i think it depends on the person it depends on how much you're watching it depends if you've never learned how to talk to a woman um, it depends if you're not properly socialized. And I think the online harms bill, that's what they're calling it, is aimed to, um, I guess, um, mitigate um, a problem arising there. Because I guess people on a smartphone now, they could be nine years old and watching um, pornography. But then again, there is lots of apps for parents on, on the phone they can block them. Um, so I guess as an adult who sometimes watches it, I'm not an addict. I'm not going to also go into like all my personal details about this either. But as an adult, I'm kind of like, what? Because now I'm going to have to like scan my face or put my driver's license if I go on one of these websites. And it's like, you don't want to be on like a register of masturbators. Like you don't want to have like a company or the government knowing that you're jacking off like that's absurd to me absolutely absurd like people are um worried about like gov government overstep like that's as personal of an overstep you can make really because like you don't want you don't want ah fuck i don't know who's even going to be looking at that if it's going to be like a new government agency which is crazy that we're paying like tax dollars for like someone to to monitor you masturbate essentially that's crazy um or if it's going to be a third party which is even crazier actually i would rather have the tax dollar thing than the third party thing because if there's a data breach actually a data breach could happen either way and that 
that could be worse than just the embarrassment of people knowing that you're watching it. That could be like an actual, like they could get your fucking credit card information. Maybe if you're paying, you could, there's like, there's a lot of shit that can go wrong with that. Like identity theft, who knows what can go wrong with that. But I'm very cautious about what I buy and where I buy something online. Like if I um, buy something, it's going to be from Amazon or something similar because I know that if I get scammed on Amazon, there's policies there. I'm going to use either PayPal or, or something like that. Um, so I don't have any of my bank information there. Um, I don't know how I would feel about that. I know Pornhub itself is a Canadian company. Um, lots of controversies with it. I know they've, um, got in trouble for revenge porn in the past. Um, I don't know if it's actually real revenge porn or if it's been scripted. I know there's a lot of like incest scripted stepbrother stuff on there, um, which is weird to me. I don't know why that is just automatically on the home screen that maybe the whole population of our country wants to have sex with their sister or something. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I think a return to like magazines would be nice, I guess. So I'm not crazy, but then you have magazines and then you die and then you have a pile of like you have two boxes of, of porn magazines. Like I work at a, a retirement home, one of my jobs, and there was a guy who died and they pulled five boxes of porn out of his suite. He was like 70 when he died and he had like five boxes of VHS and magazines and that's embarrassing. Like, I guess the anonymity of online porn is what's causing harm, but it's also what's good about it in in a way where it is something that people do. So I don't know how you'd control that. I don't know where they're going with this. I don't know if it's even... Mm, yeah, I don't know, man, but... I'm definitely not going to be putting my driver's license on any of these sites. Um, for sure not. I might use a, a VPN, but then you're like, that even seems weird too. Like, I think this whole situation, I think it's weird the way it is. I think it's the weird, they're probably weirder the way that they're going to make it, but they do have an argument to do it that way. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm completely off. This, the last two minutes of this video have just been spewing conversation in all directions, but I don't know. I don't like it. I'm not going to put my my driver's license or my face scan. Imagine scanning your fucking face, like actually like putting an iPad up to your head and having them scan your face and then it goes boo, 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 approved and then there's like this fucking big pussy on the screen now. It, that's fucking so dystopian, man. That's so dystopian. And then there's always going to be the the red pillar, which is like, oh, you got to go out and get real women. And then it's like, yeah, that would be great. But it's like, it's kind of like, if you're poor, stop being poor. It's kind of like that argument. Like, I mean, not everyone's knocking down like five chicks in a month. Not everyone's uh, has a steady girlfriend. I broke up with mine two yeah, a month and a half ago, I broke up with mine. Um, and I'm going to get back and, and start dating again. I'm going to try a nightclub on Friday. And, you know, you, you always want to make sure that you have a companion in your life. Um, even if it's um, like a friend and it, there's no sex involved. I think the friend zone is, is a shitty place to be, but the friend zone to be honest, not to sound like a simp or a cuck or whatever the words are, the friend zone is actually a little bit better than the no zone. Because you don't always need to be gunning for getting laid. You, you just need to be chill around people and you need to build those social interactions. And then if it goes somewhere sexual and you get those needs met, which everyone has, then you do. And then if you don't, then you're going to need a magazine or something at the, at the minimum. And that's just human bi biology. If you don't need sex or to masturbate, then something's completely off with your hormones. You're just, you're not even functional as a human being at that point. So anyways, that's where I'll end it. I think 10 minutes is enough. This isn't even really a topic I care a whole lot about, 
but um, it's it's just kind of the way that everything's getting regulated now. I just wanted to touch base on that. And I feel like you're always going to be able to get it in some form, you, no matter what they do. Even if it goes back to magazines or if you're just looking at like thumbnails on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, you'll always be able to get it. And I guess kind of, I, I know I said I would end this like twice already, but I guess it's kind of like gun rights, like when they ban the guns and then criminals still have the guns. And then I don't want to get into that debate. I don't want to seem like I'm like an NRA guy or anything, but there's some truth to that. And I mean, like people that are actually like sitting around watching porn, like they're probably on the dark web watching stuff that they shouldn't be watching anyways. So, I mean, yeah, anyways, I'll end it. So check out my other videos. Um, I'm not going to post again this week. I think I already have one in the queue, though, so I, I guess technically I will, but it's already recorded, so it depends how you look at it. All right, peace.